guys, Erwin Tech here. Today I will be showing you how to make professional videos on your Chromebook with Clipchamp. Used by more than 17 million registered users worldwide, Clipchamp is the video creation, editing, and production platform, allowing users to create professional grade videos 15 times faster than with regular tools. To use Clipchamp's video editor, creators begin by opening a new project, then adding your own media or Clipchamp's 800,000 plus stock videos and images onto the timeline instantly. Another cool feature to Clipchamp is that it lets you export straight to cloud storage like Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, and LinkedIn, Pinterest, and YouTube. So many choices, right? Anyways, thank you to Clipchamp for sponsoring today's video and let's just get straight into it. What's up guys? So now we are on the Chromebook and now time to show you how to edit some amazing videos. So once you're on the Chromebook, what you want to do is click the new tab option right here and type clipchamp.com then hit enter then what you want to do is click the try for free button right here then on sign up right here you can create your account using microsoft Google, Facebook, Dropbox, or just use your email. I'm gonna continue with Google. After that, a little secret I'm gonna show just you guys is that if you click upgrade up here, select the highest tier business platinum, click choose, and then go to coupon code right here and enter in my secret code that I'm gonna share with you guys, which is clip champ. Irwin Tech, and then click apply. And now you will get Clipchamp's business platinum tier free for one month, which includes 800,000 plus stock videos and photos, a bunch of new free audios and stuff like that, music, all sorts of amazing stuff for one month free, zero dollars, their highest tier. So make sure you use my code when checking out with the highest tier on their website. So just enter in your PayPal or your credit card number and then you want to hit pay now and now you have your business platinum plan free for one month like i said unlimited hd audio hd video quality 1080p and watermark free unlimited stock and secure file saving all this free for one month so now let's get straight into the editing part just click on sounds good let's go and then click create your first personal video now we're in the editor and what you can do is import templates of your choice like YouTube intros for your channel, TikTok, Instagram, and much more. There's also stock images and stock videos too for you to use, but I'm going to be importing my own media and stock videos. I'm going to mix them together to make a really cool video. So you're going to hit the plus up here and then choose where you want to import from. You can import from Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, Zoom, Box, Google Photos, from your iPhone, and much more. But I'm just going to click Browse Files and scroll down to my YouTube USB and import all of these files that I'm going to be using to edit. Then click Open. Now let it process all the audio for your videos and files, and we'll get straight into it. Once you have all your videos, you can click and drag them onto your timeline. And now I'm going to bring my audio in here too, drop it in the audio selection. Now if I hit the play button, it will be pretty loud, so we're going to click on audio right here. And make the track volume a little bit less, so we can barely hear it and just have it running in the background. Now let's see what it looks like. Looks great. Now we're going to add some cool text effects. Go over to text on the left bar right here. And look at all these choices for text. Glow text, glitch text, line text, typewriter text, like explosion looking text, fireworks, you name it, they have it. If you watch my videos a lot, you know I like the glitch text title. So I'm going to click and drag this onto my timeline to use. Now just select it, go to text up here and you can change the text and the font and you can choose where you want it to appear on the page. Now after that, I'm gonna click on transform right here, adjust the size a bit, make it a little bit smaller, then double click on it. Then I'm gonna drag it to the very bottom right here and you have this little grid for it to snap onto right there. And now let's preview that. Drag your scrubber to the beginning, then hit play. 
That looks absolutely phenomenal. I love it. You also can choose the layout, like if you want it to be picture and picture up in the screen, like while you're commentating over a game or a screen recording like I do in my videos. They also have filters for your video just in case the color is not quite how you want it. So I really like the increase filter. It is my favorite. It makes all the colors pop a bit more and looks really, really good. And let's say you really like this filter, but it's not quite what you want it to be and you want to adjust it just a little bit just go to adjust colors right here and change the exposure a bit a little bit darker saturation put that up a little bit like that temperature let's say you want it to be a little bit warm or a little bit cool you can put it down there since i have a sort of blue background i'm gonna make it a little bit cool contrast we can make this pretty light in the background just like that and there you go your intro is customized all perfectly another cool feature is instead of like recording with those chrome browser add-ons and stuff like that you can go to record and create over here and they let you record your screen and your camera just your camera just your screen and do text-to-speech to make your own sound effects and commentate over games so no need to download any of those crappy chrome extensions you just use it right in the Clipchamp web browser. Like I mentioned in the beginning, they have so many templates. I just had to come back here to show it off again. Let's say you're looking for YouTube intros and all these content creators have these amazing YouTube intros and you're like, how do I get those YouTube intros? All you have to do is go to templates here, click on YouTube intros for your channel, and there are tons of templates for you guys to use for your YouTube channel. Look at all these. They're so amazing. Just scroll through here and pick the one you like and just drag it to the timeline. But let's say you want to edit this not just for YouTube and other stuff too. They have Instagram, TikToks, social media ads, like if you want to promote something. And they have some stock videos for you guys to use just like they do in professional commercials. They also have really cool music and sound effects. So let's say you don't have your own audio for your videos and you don't know where to find any good tunes. You can just look in here and pick any of the songs you want in here to put over your videos. If you go over the sound effects section right here, they have all these cool sound effects like TV static, sci-fi, telephone, whale sound effects, and they're all in categories so you know where to look. Now it's time to get into the juicy part. I'm going to go back to my timeline here, scrub over to the end of the video, put my scrubber right here, go to your media, and I'm going to drag in the Apex Legends Chromebook video right here. Now I'm going to put in a cool transition to switch over from the intro to the real video. Just go to the bottom where it says filters and transitions right here and pick one that you really like. I like the push right one. It's nice, clean, and simple. So all you have to do is click and drag right in between your clip till it locks on and it says add transition. Then you just let go. And there you go. Your transition is in place. Just drag your scrubber before the transition happens. Click play and watch the magic happen looks super clean. Another cool feature is if you go to brand kit, the secret area over here, and click add font, you can add your own font to use in your Clipchamp titles if they don't have the specific one for you. You can go back to brand kit as well and add certain colors and logos you want to use in your videos. You can also adjust the speed of your video. So let's say I'm gonna go to a part where I'm playing a game or a part I want to speed up because I'm doing a long and complicated process. I can just right click here to split and then right click here to split as well. And then I can select this clip, go to speed up here and make it fast. And you can adjust the speed if you want it slower or faster. That looks perfect to me. Just drag the rest of the clip over here and you can watch it go super fast in action. Super cool, right? Like I just showed, there's more tools by right clicking on your timeline. You can split like I just showed you guys to split clips and add them together. You can also right click, delete clips, and you can also copy and paste like effects. Like if you had an effect at the beginning, you can copy and paste it, bring it over to another part in the video without doing any of the work. Now this is where I want my clip to end. I'm gonna right click, split, delete the rest of this and this is the last 
most special feature on ClipChamp. If you guys don't already know, I use green screens in my videos, but ClipChamp has a green screen feature. To show you guys, I'm gonna go to their premium stock photos, and then the ones that say perfect for green screen, you can click and drag those onto the timeline and show you the magic. Then once you have your green screen, all you need to do is go to filters up here, scroll down to the very bottom, and then where it says green screen, click on it and it will remove the green screen background. So if I drag this up to the timeline above and then go to my media, take an Apex Legends photo, drag it under it. Now the green screen is in action with whatever image you chose to be under the green screen. Look at it, it looks so amazing and you don't even have to use the stock videos, you can use whatever green screen footage you guys have shot. That looks good, now time to export. Go to Untitled up here and name it. I'm going to name it Apex Legends Clip Champ, then hit enter. After that, go to the export button over here and click on it. Choose your desired resolution. I'm gonna choose 1080p, then click continue. Now wait for it to finish exporting. Once it's finished exporting, it will save to your computer in a .mp4 file. After that, you're able to view it, upload to YouTube, and do whatever you want with it. Or you can save it to Dropbox, Google Drive, and many of these other options, even YouTube. Now, if you want more tips and tricks on how to edit with ClipChamp on your Chromebook, visit the ClipChamp YouTube channel. All they have is tips and tricks on how to edit with their product on there. It'll be linked in the description below, so make sure to go check it out. And yeah, that sums up this video of editing with ClipChamp, and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. You're all the shoutouts for today's video, and if you want to be featured in one of my videos, just comment down below, I subscribed, and I'll give you a shoutout in my next video. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to go check out ClipChamp's YouTube channel and all the links in the description below. And again, thank you to ClipChamp for sponsoring today's video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.